Hello and thanks for joining me. I want to share a couple of scriptures with you. I'm going to be talking about the spirit of prophecy. Revelation chapter 19 verse 10 says that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Well, what exactly does that mean? Well, the testimony of Jesus is the word of God. Amen. Paul said this in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 1. He said that he came declaring the testimony of God. So we have the testimony of God. We have the testimony of Jesus. It's the Word of God. It's the Bible that you have in your house. And as you allow that Word to speak into your life, to impact your heart, to influence your soul, it will prophesy your future. So many people want to know their futures. Years ago, before I met the Lord, I would go to fortune tellers, I'd go to clairvoyance. I wanted to know my future. But you know what? When I got a hold of the Word of God, when I got born again, when the mercy and the grace and the love of God came into my life, He gave me a revelation that I could find my future in the Word of God. In Psalm 19, the scripture says that God's Word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Amen? So all we need to do is allow it to influence our heart. Amen? I want to share a scripture out of 2 Peter chapter 1, and it's going to be beginning in verse 16. Peter's saying the same exact thing because he was there when they saw Jesus. Amen? And when God spoke to them, the one thing he said, now if you could hear God's audible voice, and if he was going to speak something to you, what do you think he said? He said to the disciples, he said, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to Him. Now you could say, listen to the Word of God. That's God's desire for us, to, to listen to His Word, to mix faith with it, and to see it come to pass. So this is what Peter said in 2 Peter 1.16. He said, we've not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of His majesty. For he received from God the Father honor and glory, where there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. Now watch verse 19. This is powerful. We also have a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well, that you take heed as unto a light, that shines in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Here, Peter's saying the same thing that Psalm 119 says. It's a light, and it shines in a dark place. And he said that we would do well if we take heed to that word. God's word has promised us so much. If you've got sickness in your body, God's word has promised you complete wholeness, wellness. Amen? If you need finances, in Psalm 112, verse 3, the scripture says that wealth and riches are in your house. Now, it doesn't say wealth and riches will be in your house. They are already there if you're born again. But you know what? You won't be able to access them unless you mix faith with the Word of God. Amen? God has promised us that all things that pertain to life and godliness are found through the knowledge of God and through His Son, Jesus Christ. That's 2 Peter chapter 1. All things, everything that we need is found through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ. And all we need to do is take advantage of that word. In Proverbs chapter 4 verse 22, the scripture says that His word is life to those who find them and it's health and medicine to all our flesh. You know, in the United States and in many other countries, there is a tremendous amount of money spent in the medical industry for something that God has given us freely through His Son, finished work at the cross. All we need to do is mix faith with it, and He says that we will live an abundant life. I want to share a scripture out of Acts chapter 3, verse 16. This is what God has promised us all. So, in Acts chapter 3, verse 16, the scripture says this, it's speaking of a man, and this man was lame from his mother's womb. It says, this is what Peter said, 
He was being called on the carpet for this, and it says, And his name, that's Jesus' name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yea, the faith which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Perfect soundness. When you look up that definition in the Greek, it means that he's got everything working perfectly. Amen. His eyes are working perfectly. His ears are working perfectly. His hands are working perfectly. His feet are working perfectly. Every part of his body is in perfect soundness. How is that? Well, that's because Jesus took the curse for us. The scripture says in Galatians 3.13 that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He took the curse of sickness and disease and allowed it to invade his body. He was made sick so that we could be made whole. Now, brothers and sisters, all it takes is knowledge because all things that pertain to life and godliness are found through the knowledge of God and through Jesus Christ. So I just encourage you, grab a hold of that word and look at it like it is your life, it is your future. You can find your future in the word of God. No matter how old you are, you still have a future if you've got breath in your lungs. And you know what? God wants you to know that he has a wonderful future for you, that it's a bright light that shines in a dark place. We live in a dark world. It's getting darker every day. But you know what? If you look to the light, you won't see the shadows. Amen? I encourage you to visit our website. We've got over 70 free downloads for you. And I know you'll be blessed, encouraged, and inspired by the Word of God. And I sure thank you for joining me. And I look forward to visiting with you next time. Have a blessed day.